Hello everyone, my name is Paulo Alves and on this video series we'll be building a web app for expenses control from scratch using Angular for the front-end, Nas.js for the back-end and Firestore as the database. On the previous videos we talked about the project, we installed Angular in our machine, we also created a new project and had an overview of the Angular files, and we created a new repository on GitHub and pushed the project there. Today what we're gonna do is to publish our project to the web using Firebase Hosting. So what is Firebase Hosting? It's basically a platform that allows developers to deploy and host their web applications on the cloud. It is built on top of Google Cloud and um, is integrated with all the Firebase services that we use in this app such as Firebase Authentication and Cloud Firestore. So let's get started setting up Firebase hosting. So the first thing we need to do is to come to the Firebase page and go to the console. Here you can see that I don't have any projects created yet because there are none listed and I can create a new project. So let's do this by clicking on this button. Now it asks me the project name. I will just put expenses control app, all right? This, this will be the final unique identifier for the project, whatever, uh, doesn't matter. So let's continue. Here on the second step out of three, it's asking me if I want to enable Google Analytics for this project. I'll just say no, just to keep it simple. Um, we can do it later. So let's create the project. So after a few seconds, our project is ready and now we can continue and configure it. So here I'm on the dashboard of the Firebase, the console, and you, we can see that there are many tools that we can use. The ones that we are gonna use, as I said before, are the authentication, the Firestore database, it's a NoSQL, NoSQL database, and the hosting, which is our goal for the video of today. So let's go to the hosting. So as it is the first time I'm coming to this page, you can see that we don't have any deployed apps because it's not showing the list. So let's get started with the first one. It's basically these three simple steps that you have to do. First, we have to tell NPM to install globally the Firebase Tools library. To do this, I'll just copy, um, open a new terminal, paste and click enter. I'm not actually gonna click enter because I already have this installed. So you do this in your machine uh, to take a few seconds to install and then we can go to the next step. All right, on this step, we have to log in into Firebase. Simply again, just copy this, uh, paste on the terminal, press enter. It's asking me if I wanna give information to them ab about the use of my CLI or just do it as no. And on my other screen, it's showing this, which it's which account I want to use to log in. So let's use this one and allow it. Okay, we have logged in successfully. That was pretty easy. And here we have the message saying that it was that I am logged in with this, this email. After that, we have to initialize our project. So I'll copy this. And just before it, I'm logging in to Firebase. I have to do this step so Firebase knows that I am actually me and I am trying to upload an app to the Firebase hosting, right? So, okay, that was done. Let's initialize our project. Copy this um, command, paste on the terminal, click enter. I'll have a few questions asked. So the first question is which feature I wanna use, which tool. Um, I'll just go to hosting. There are two options as I want to configure the files. It's my first time. So I'm going to configure files for the Firebase hosting. Uh, I'll select this, click enter. Now it's asking we, what if I want to use an existing project, create a new project or whatever. So I'll just use it, use an existing project, which is this one that we just created. It will show me the list of projects I have. Now I only have one. So that's the one. And now the terminal is asking me where I want my public directory, my public folder to be. It suggests to be public at first, but I'm not gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna instead put this from distribution. And why am I choosing this? So in this, this folder, what, I'm what I need to have is this project 
built and ready to go to the web. So um, if I come to the package.json file, we see that I have a script, which is the build. Um, if I run npm run build, uh, it will run this ng build angular build uh, command. And what this will do is it will transform my project into a distribution version, which means that I can use it on the web. And it uses the dist, the dist folder to do it. So that's why I'm, I'm doing it. That's why I'm choosing here to be dist, right? So I don't need to change anything else. So everything that's here on this folder will be sent to Firebase hosting and then we can use it. We can see it um, on the web. So I'll just use dist. Now it asks me if I want a single page app. I'll just say no. And I don't want also to set up automatic builds. Um, we are gonna do this on the next video and we will not be using GitHub for this time. We are gonna use Google Cloud Build. So I'll just say no here also. All right, so we have two new files, this firebase.erc. We are basically not gonna need to change it. And the firebase.json, which is a configuration file that will inform the commands here, how to send this project to the to the web, to Firebase hosting, I mean. So, and oh, also I have this file, this folder, basically I'm not gonna change anything here, so don't care about it, okay? So I'll click next, and now it's the third and final step, which, where I will be deploying our app to Firebase hosting. So I'll copy it, paste, and click enter. So the deploy is completed. What's happening is that when I clicked enter with this command, it's deploying uh, my project to the Firebase hosting. It found nine files in the disk folder and it's uploading it to the Firebase hosting. So I'll just continue to console. And here it says where my app is hosted, which is here this URL. You can see it's already HTTP secured. So let's copy, paste it. And as we can see, we don't have my project yet, which should be this. Um, this happens because it's actually adding the files, the built files in this dist slash expenses control angular. We can change that by coming to angular.json. And instead of the out output path being dist slash expenses control angular, I'm just gonna put Dist, all right so this time this time when I build the project when I do npm run build it will actually remove everything and all these files will be inside of this folder all right as you can see I just needed to change this configuration in angular.json file so let's do a firebase deploy again this time it will copy all of this directly to firebase hosting let's wait for it to happen and when I refresh the page, we can see my app. You see, this is my local host my, in my machine and this is already on the web. Pretty simple, pretty cool, right? All right, now let's get all the changes and send it to GitHub. Um, not all of them, just a few. I'll select these three. These two here, these two files are not necessary. So I have the firebase.json configurations of Firebase, just uh, first Firebase hosting to send to Firebase. I have this change in the output path in my angular.json configuration file. And I have this here also, not a problem. So I will add them to my commit. Um, then I will do a commit. So git commit message um, configuration of Firebase hosting. I'll click enter, the commit is created, and now I will push it to uh, GitHub. Okay, right now you can already download, you can already get all this code, all those changes I did to the project. But this is a bit annoying, right? Every time I make a change on my code and I want to publish it on the web, I have to do a npm run build and a Firebase deploy to send this to the web and then to be available to everyone. Wouldn't it be much easier if every time that I push, I do a git push, it would automatically 
deploy my project and send it to Firebase hosting, it will be much better, right? It's automatic. So that's what we are gonna do on the next video using Google Cloud Build to watch all the changes that happen on GitHub and when it sees a push to the master, to the main branch, I mean, it will just do automatically uh, deploy uh, npm run build and a Firebase deploy. And then our app will be automatically updated here and available to everyone. But that's for the next video. So all the links that are necessary for you to follow this video are gonna be on the first comment of the video together with our Discord server invite. So enter Discord and then we can chat there about ideas or about programming problems that you're having. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave comments below and see you on the next video.